from the ground and from the air. The damage is hard to take in. Two of the hardest hit areas were Muhlenberg County and Hopkins County in western Kentucky. Evening Edition's Conroy Deluche was in both areas today, and he begins our team coverage. Good evening, everybody, from Hopkins County. We're standing just off the Dawson Springs exit from I-69, and behind me is the Hopkins County Mobile Command Center, and it's set up here because the small city right now has no electricity. But unfortunately, there's not a whole lot left there, period. Just to get into Dawson Springs, we were required to get an escort from Kentucky State Police Troopers providing support for the county. Many streets right now are impassable. Power lines are hanging by a thread if they're still standing at all. Businesses and homes stretching for blocks are either destroyed or heavily damaged. The mayor of nearby Madisonville estimates more than two thirds of the town is now gone. It's, it's, it's heart wrenching, uh, to be honest. I, I grew up down in this area. I grew up playing baseball in this area. Uh, it, it, it's heart wrenching to see just total devastation. Um, homes, five to 700 homes are just leveled. They're not there. Um, all of their industries are, are gone. Their restaurants are damaged. Um, so it's, it's, this is a, a huge hit for this community. Less than 40 minutes from Dawson Springs is Muhlenberg County's hardest hit area, the town of Bremen. 11 people died in the storm, a devastating amount for a county of just 31,000 people, all of which the judge executive says are now accounted for. The National Guard is in Bremen as well, ensuring that only local residents, officials, first responders or designated volunteers can cross into the hardest hit areas of the city. A sheriff's deputy took us on a tour up Brown Mill Road and then a trip down Kentucky 81. Hard to believe, but on the other side of these machines is City Hall. I've seen some terrible things occur, but I've never seen anything that of this magnitude. And I'm not sure our county in the last uh, many decades has experienced anything of this magnitude. A long recovery for the heavily damaged parts of Western Kentucky, but rest assured after the actions we've seen just the past few days, they won't be going through a rebuild alone. In Hopkins County, Conroy Deluche, Evening Edition.